kids, during the month of August, your Sabbath school is a little different compared to the four and a half months of Zoom classes that we've been having. However, we'll still cater for all of you. For the beginners, kindergarten, it's going to start with a song. And even the little ones, parents can hold the child's hands and do the action. Hello my little friends, the name of the story today is Food for Elijah and the memory verse is in Philippians 4 19 which says my God meets all my needs. This is Elijah. Elijah is God's friend. God told Elijah to go to King Ahab and tell him. King Ahab, God said there is no rain for one, two, three years. Run, Elijah, run. The king is angry. The king is after you. The king does not like Elijah. The king does not like God. Run! Run! Hide, Elijah! Hide! Hide, Elijah! Hide! God help Elijah! God found a place for Elijah to hide. Where is Elijah? Elijah is hiding. Can you find him? No one can see Elijah. Elijah is God's friend and God takes care of Elijah. Oh! There he is. Can you hear the water? Ooh, what can you hear? Can you hear the winds? Elijah is praying to his friend, to God. God said to Elijah, rest Elijah, rest, go to sleep. Elijah is very tired, so he lies down and goes to sleep. And then Elijah, after sleeping, Elijah got up and he was very thirsty and he went to the river and drank from the river. And then, and he was still thirsty, he drank some more. And blah, 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 blah. Oh dear, what noise is that? That is Elijah's tummy. Elijah is very hungry. But there is no food. There is no bread. There is no fruit. There is no beans. What's that? What are these black birds? They are ravens. Whoosh! Elijah gets the bread. And he says, thank you, God, for the lovely bread. And he eats it. And the birds fly away. Elijah is very happy. 
and Elijah thanked God for giving him the food. It's getting dark. It's night time. Elijah is going to bed. I thank God that I have a nice place to hide. Elijah prays to God. Dear God, thank you for finding a nice place for me to hide. Thank you for the water. Thank you for the food. Thank you very much. And then he goes to sleep. Elijah, wake up. He had a good night's sleep. And the birds came every morning to give him some food. And he, they come every morning for one, two, three years. And the rain stopped. There was no rain. The water started to dry up. But Elijah was okay. God took good care of Elijah. God and Elijah were good friends. And he took good care of Elijah and Elijah was happy. Elijah always prayed to God every day and God helped him because Elijah was friends with God and God was friend with Elijah and we are going now to pray to God too because we are friends with God and God is friends with you. Let's have a prayer. Thank you God, thank you Jesus for giving us food to eat, a place to stay and for friends and for the church. Thank you that you take care of us. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hello boys and girls, this is Aunt Fernita and I have a wonderful story for you called The Boy is Alive. Today's memory verse is from Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. It says, The Lord cares for those who trust in Him. The message for today's story is God will always answer our prayers. 
Do you remember ever being really, really sick? So sick that you thought that you might never get well? That's what happened to the widow's son. Elijah stayed in Zarephath where God had sent him. God had not sent rain for a long, long time because the people still worshipped the idol Baal. Without rain, the crops did not grow and people everywhere were very hungry. But there was always food in the widow's house, just as the Lord had promised. Every day when the widow looked into her jar, she found enough flour to make bread. Every day when she looked into her jug, she found enough oil too. Every day God kept his promise. One morning the widow's son whispered to his mother, Mommy, I don't feel so good. I hurt all over. The mother held her son and rocked him. She gave him cool water to drink. She even sang songs to him. But her son did not get well. In fact, he got worse, and then he died. The widow woman cried and cried. Tears ran down her face as she told Elijah what had happened. Give me your son, Elijah said. He carried the boy upstairs to the room the widow had given Elijah. He laid the little boy on the bed. Then Elijah cried to the Lord, Why has this happened to the kind woman who is sharing her home with me? O oh Lord, my God, let this boy's life return to him. Three times Elijah prayed this prayer. The Lord did not answer Elijah with words. He did not even answer Elijah's question about why the widow woman's son had died. But after the third prayer, the boy began to breathe again. He came back to life. Elijah shouted with joy. He picked up the boy and rushed down the stairs. Your son is alive, he shouted. Your son is alive. The widow grabbed her boy in a big, big hug. She was so happy she laughed and she cried all at the same time. Then she looked up at Elijah through her tears. Now I know that you are a man of God, she said. God loves us very much and I know he will always answer our prayers. Boys and girls, God loves you very much too. He will always be with you and will always love you. Every day when you pray, say, I love you, Jesus. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso in Singapore. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again next week. Bye!